coordination. I need not even bother you. I'm sure that if I ask you here today that how many of you are happy with the state of our country? The answer is obvious. In fact, by the singular fact that most of you are even here this morning, is an answer to it already. That people have nothing to do and there seems not to be open sight. So it is the right time for you to start thinking that what do we do and how do we go about this. So for us, I want to urge you that the whole essence of coming together this nobody is claiming monopoly of wisdom, I can tell you, or monopoly of knowledge. That is why we normally even have interactive sections. And at the end of the day, we have mentorship sessions. So that you can be able to know that even your own ideas can be used with cross-fertilized ideas. So that at the end of the day, because it's our society. I give you another example. I'm glad that one of the characters in my area is there. Mr. Ade Atopatele. He lived with me in the area. He's one of the cantacross one we have around there. <laughs> you see, when we used to tell them that let us be alert to our responsibility. You know, when you are living in Jari, the presumption is that you must have some measure of freedom. Unlike you can even say, okay, in Ajikula, I can't walk around. In Muchi, I can't walk around. In this one, I can't walk around. In Jari, there is a presumption that you must be able to jog and so on. But ask him today, how many of them can walk a jog in Jari, Kejaye? We are all endangered because we are afraid to do the needful. We are afraid to impact on the society. Those people must find their level. And that is where we are. Because the leaders are afraid to do the needful. If we fail in our duty, then at the end of the day, we all bear the consequence. I have no doubt in my mind that you people are already bearing your own consequence. Because if I ask how many people have a prospect now, I tell you which prospect do you have, which job do you have, you are still challenged. And that is the consequence of bad leadership. And that is why you must resolve today that, one, I want to be a leader. And not only being a leader, a leader with a mission. They call them visionary. Some call them purposive leader. That, look, I'm going to be a leader and I'm going to find a way of changing this community or changing my society or changing my home or changing the nation as a whole. Little, little. You see, we don't need everybody for the change we are talking about. We do not need everybody. If we can be able across this nation today get just 5% of the people 5 is enough to affect the country positively just 5% is sufficient so take yourself as one of them if you start your own he starts his own she starts her own and they start their own if you are able to get 5% of us I can tell you for free that things will start changing. And like I used to say, the fewer, the greater share of honor. You don't need everybody. Even heaven itself, I understand the road to it is very narrow. Eh? Did you see it? It's narrow. You've been there. <laughs> so, we do not need everybody. The few of us here can start changing this nation today by our resolution. So, have we resolved? Are we ready? Have we resolved to say we want to change it? That we want to be leaders of these communities? Please, if you have done so, consciously and uh, gently along the whole lecture, position yourself in such manner. Listen, interact, interrogate issues. Whatever the lecturers say are not sacred. You can bring up your own view to say, no, I'm not too sure that what you have said is applicable or is correct. 
the aggregation of it all is what will take us to our destination. So in rounding up, since I meant to give the keynote address, you can see, I'm sure most of you are already with the program, with you, the content of what we have. This time around, in the evenings, I can see that a lot of other vocational training are embedded in this year program. Please take advantage of them, particularly the web design, the digital, the, all these things are things that you can do and you can succeed with. Like uh, Kofi said, he said, most accountants are now farmers. Even lawyers, so many lawyers are farmers today. Because they can't make us meet within the profession again. It's not possible. Less than 5% of the lawyers in Nigeria are successful. And I mean it that I can truly say that they can feed their family and maintain them. Less than 5%. So people are beginning to look at options. Let me go and be a fish farmer. Let me go into an animal husbandry. So you see the content there. You must take advantage of those vocational training. And of course, the mentoring section is there for you also where we have enough and more time to exchange ideas, the technology aspect, the management aspect, and of course, the other opportunities, like I said, in the sport industry and the youth and advocacy. And the dinner is a specially structured dinner. Most times, it usually consists of your self and those that have passed through these courses that are available and um, so some of the resource persons that are available. So this is the content of the lecture and this is what we intend to take you through and our expectation and prayer and hope is that by the time you leave here on Saturday you are a different person completely. You are somebody that we can rely upon there are somebody that the society can rely upon. There are somebody that we can be proud of. There are somebody that will take us to the next level in the true sense of the word. So, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor and privilege to be here this morning with you to share some of these thoughts under the keynote address and to urge you to please be conscientious in all that you are going to be taken through throughout the training period. I thank you very much and I wish you God's blessing and guidance. God bless you. Thank you very much, sir. Keep it coming, keep it coming, keep it coming, keep it coming. Well deserved. Well deserved applause. All right, um, ladies and gentlemen. Initially, I was supposed to take this time out to now speak to you. But what I did earlier was to smartly just take most of it and then um, ask us to um, take some instructions from what I'm about to read to you. It says, um, a nation only grows when the things the youth are interested in blossoms. Just take notes wherever you can catch it. It is the youth that go to war on behalf of the ego-driven old men. We are at war because the old generation refuses to see the potentials in entertainment. The biggest entertainment family in the world is Will Smith's family because he embraced his kids' flaws and all. Puff Daddy is doing the same. Shaq O'Neal is the biggest black brand endorser in America. His son is the ridiculous fat boy. For those of you who follow him on Instagram, that fat boy that does all those here things. His father is Shaq O'Neal. A lot of you don't know who Shaq O'Neal is. He's a legendary basketballer. He doesn't have all the modern clout that you pursue on social media. But if you go to America, he's the biggest brand endorser in America, black. Almost every product wants him to hold their product and advertise it. So our value system here has really eroded. We use influencers that really have no influence. The Mark Zuckerberg and likes took a playful interest in the cyber world and have today created massive employment opportunities across the globe. Our Yoruba, English, Botany, engineering graduates are all in the banks. Our accountant students are in the farm. Our Greek students are at home. 
football is now a religion. Parents now want their children to play football. How many teams can contain everybody? Nollywood is the third largest by quantity because we have the numbers. The numbers is what the corporate world keeps looking at. That is why the Indians have taken over a Lupeju and the Chinese are moving in. The Lebanese own part of Nigeria already. If government can structure, get professionals like myself, Clarence Peters, Mode 9, Sound Sultan, to head commissions and redirect young people to a place of purpose, no one will be selling in traffic. The lack of structure is why, we record, why record companies left. Juju died. Piracy blossomed and everything is in an abyss. Keke and D1 fought a good fight, but today only a select few are benefiting because there is no guideline as to how others can make it through the same pipeline. The persons being appointed as head of youth ministries do not have any idea about these things. They don't even know how to engage on Instagram, Twitter, and the likes. The huge budget being given to some government parasitals that ends being used to service fixed deposits, cars, trips, can be invested in young people through TV shows, movies, talent competition, football engagements, and academics. Imagine me, just me here. With my little earnings, I've been able to produce eight movies on my own. Eight. On my own. So imagine what I will be able to achieve with government intervention and structure. Imagine how many more platforms Teju, AY, Benga, Denka, Alibaba can be able to create. Okay? But now let's look beyond government not answering us. A lot of you, you know Kolak Alago, right? You know Kolak Alago. Don't pretend. You know Kolak Alago, right? Uh -huh. What is he selling? The same local hubs. Now, the reason why a lot of young people run away from basic things that they can use as business is because of what people will say. Ah, Amy. They say, ah. So what we're teaching here is how to rebrand yourself and package yourself and present yourself to the world. Okay? A lot of you have potentials. You have stuff. So I'm going away from entertainment now. You have stuff that you can sell. Don't be ashamed to be a hustler. Otumba here, the owner of Ibis Hotel, I wish he was able to share the story. He used to park for Carlo. Cars, body parts. That's what he was assembling and all those hustle. He used to be a hustler in this same Matoria. What's this place called? This Ladipo. If your hands are not dirty, your future will not be bright. You must get dirty now that you're young. Get, put your hands. I'm not saying dirty like key person or do, do as in... Let's see that you're hustling. There's something you can do. Go back home today and ask yourself, Kinimoleshe. Just ask your Kinimoleshe. No, forget government. Forget uh, one egg born, one auntie, one uncle. Forget, forget all of us on social media. We are fake. Forget. I'm telling you. Some of us know bath before we take that picture. A lot of entertainers mislead young people by creating trends to translate it to money. They are not making money. A lot of you will now go and do something to trend. When you now trend, you are not making money. You now start feeling depressed. Thank God they have banned Sniper. Funny Tohib was doing his thing. He was begging everybody, please repost. They didn't answer him until Cardi B reposted it. Cardi B. It is only Americans that see our potentials. Get out of here, man. Nobody answered him until 50 Cent posted it. You will be pursuing your potentials and you'll be tagging entertainers and celebrities that don't send you. Tag your friends and create a cycle. Forget us. We are hustling. We are hungrier than you. Because there's a certain level that we must maintain. And we're not making that money. We are famous more than what we earn. That's why you see a lot of entertainers cap in hand, begging politicians, following up. I, I, don't, do, I don't send anybody. And I say it everywhere. 
A lot are migrating out of Nigeria now because the pressure is too much. You don't have to leave Nigeria. Somebody is not telling you that you have the potential. That's why you think you have to be bigger than you are. You can be moderate, humble, and successful. The billionaires of Nigeria that you don't know are more than the ones you see in public space. They don't make noise. Dr. Banera, where they hear, you know they shout. E money. You know they talk. Now, case in the I'm telling you facts. I'm telling you facts. There is something that you can do. Every time you go on social media now, look for the opportunities in the comment section. Some of the punchlines that we throw at events now, now comment section, we they see them. Anything where people they talk, where they make people laugh. Your business opportunity is there. It's in your hand. You wake up every morning, you go there. Look at what people are needing. What do they need? How can I start? Don't look at what will people say. If you keep looking at that, you will perish. You know, concern you what people will say. As I did like this, a lot of people have said a lot of things to me. Ah, you know, make them again. I will just look at them and laugh. One boy, I wanted to do one activation. Someone said, ah, 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 Baba, why you not do like this guy? Make you do music, uh, funny thing, like this Kenny Black guy, like this uh, Josh Too Funny guy. I just look at they can stop the video. So. And I couldn't tell the person that you are so dumb and stupid that you do not understand brand evolution. That Josh too funny. I am the one that created Josh too funny. If he doesn't come out to tell you, it doesn't mean I should come and blow my trumpet like that. No. I am the one that brought Princess on stage. The first time Helen Paul made money in her life, I'm the one that brought her out. So if some people don't talk, or blow their trumpet. It means they are humble in their own ways. It is about your upbringing. You can humbly make it in life. And then when you make it, bring the next person along. I have dragged so many people up. The fact that they don't say it or drag others along is not my fault. But do your own thing in a very humble and simple way. Ali Woja, Okoye. Oja, Onyikbo, Demokwe, Enikon, Owa. You understand? You know, everybody can be fine. Just have that mentality. Don't be a slave papa or a slave mama. It's not your business. Because there's a future where you need to nurse a child. And that is the future where you have to think about, the responsible future. So any business you can do now, most of your parents, they went through different disciplines to survive, to raise you. You need to now start investing in the future for your own children. Slaying go end. Oh. Instagram go end. Twitter go end. Facebook go go face in book. These are the realities of life. Because when life starts to happen, you will now be regretting that why didn't I? When I was in school, I was, not, I was like the ugly duckling. I'm a fine boy now. I, if you know, tell me I know. If you don't tell me, I know. Go and check my Instagram. I don't post one this morning. People will say, man, this is fine. I know. But it took a process. Now, when I was in secondary school, my closest friend was Mr. Leet. You know what Mr. Leet is? That thing we do at the end of, you know, that session that you now come together, do a party. They will now do competition. Miss Leet, Mr. The finest boy, the finest girl. My friend was Mr. Leet. Handsome. Immediately we left secondary school, we started having Teddy Burns. No fine boy, you know, all the ah, oh boy, that year, even boys would look my guy like this, say, man. So it got into his head. So, whilst we were pursuing, ah, my brother, make it, right? he was just still doing fine boy, he was not paying attention on progressing in the future. Others were going to class, he was just hanging around, fine boy. Today, fine boy is begging to survive, he's begging to survive. Because he didn't empower himself. This is the time. No, look, say that girl, do one kind head, they go laugh you. Make them laugh, they are laughful. Oh. You know, everybody that laughed us that year. Now then they hide now. Unfortunately, we know feel love them because we get empathy. But they are hiding now. So the future, is there a group for all these youths? Do you guys have a group? 
What's the group of, what's the name of the group? Is there a group? We're not trying to. I'm sorry, we're not trying to. We're having a group today. Okay? UAC youths. Okay? We start empowering ourselves. Ideas. Little opportunities. Little drops of water. So if I knew I was going to have this number of people in my front today, and I could have reached this guy. My movie premiere was on June 12th. I would have asked all of you to come and see the direction for the future. We just... In Mumbu Jumbo is a brilliant story of how young people are struggling. Those are the kind of things that we should be activating. Create the group today. Everybody drop your number. Create that group like right now. Create it. Let's start dropping potentials in the group and then pulling everybody along. Not just book, 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 book. If you don't have a place to go, let's find a place that everybody will gather one day and keep, you know, it is when you are alone at home that these depressive thoughts come into your head. Now that they've banned sniper, people will start getting creative on how to kill themselves. I'm not joking. At some point, it was electrocution. Thank God Nepal stopped performing. People couldn't shock and die. Now, sniper came. I'm very sure this very intelligent youth will start creating new ways to commit suicide. You just say, only kuni. Iwaka die. Person go just sleep, tell himself for his sleep, say, die. So please, let's create that group. Let's start reorganizing our thought processes. Now, I'm not going to follow the convention, the processes, blah, blah, blah. We have a few minutes before the break. So that we don't come back with what happened in part one. Just your question to me now, from everything I have said, and a bit of what doctor has said. Just throw your questions. I'll take three people, then we're out. But before then, I want to show you something. I want to share something with you. When I say anything around you can work, I'll show you a perfect example of it. Please, I'd like for you to welcome Ibro Lee with me on stage. Please, your hands together for Ibro Lee. Now, what he does is totally off. When I was saying there are different levels of comedy, some of you know him, some don't, but you know him now. There are different routines that we do, but we'll share one with you. After we do it, I'll now come to what I want to say. Now, President Buhari went to China some time ago, and we don't know what transpired between him and the Chinese. Okay? We don't know the agreement. We just suddenly saw that Chinese people are now getting more and more in Nigeria. If you notice, years back, there's one beverage we used to buy called Erupo Shodi. You know it, Abi? It was for the common man to survive. We, we, we grew up on Erupo Shodi. We survived with it. I was staying in Bariga then. Erupo Shodi was a survivor for us. Once you pour it either in cold or hot water, everything will not dissolve. Some will bounce up and do like this. You see that one that bounce up? You just take your spoon and scoop it and keep it aside for tomorrow. So one five naira sachet, two days. But do you know that it is that same Eruko Shodi that Chinese people are now doing in Ikorodu and packaging as Milo. Our own things, we don't value it until foreigners come and take over. Indomie noodles is cleaning out so much. They created mini me chin chin. Now they have created munchit. And they have created mini me noodles. But we look at Gary like, eh, Gary. Now he went to China. So we sent an emissary who understood what transpired between President Buhari and the Chinese. So he's going to explain in Mandarin which is the next revolutionary business language, Mandarin. There is English, the French are out. Mandarin is the next language of commerce in the world. So he's going to speak in Mandarin what happened between Buhari and the Chinese, and I will explain and translate to you. Ladies and gentlemen, Ambassador Ibro Lee.
Yes. 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 Chin Sishifu Chinjala Ibroli. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ibroli. China. I have information for you on what transpired between President Buhari and the Chinese government. For there to be an agreement between the Nigerian government and the Chinese government, hence with Nigerians must follow the family planning strategy of the Chinese by having not more than two children. It's either you take it or you leave it. File. File. Number two. For there to be an agreement between the Nigerian and Chinese government, hence with Nigerian men must leave their women for Chinese men. <laughs> it's either you take it or you leave it. File. <laughs> File. Number three. For there to be an agreement between the Nigerian government and the Chinese government, hence with Nigerians must start eating what Chinese people eat, like lizard, termite, cockroach, toad, frog, millipede, centipede, scorpion, and all those things. It's either you take it or you leave it. File. File. Finally. 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 For there to be an agreement between the Nigerian government and the Chinese government, hence with Nigerians are to leave jollof rice and start eating Chinese rice. File. 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 Now, this is my point. In every field of endeavor, there is a space for everybody. He is unique in his own way. Okay? So there is no way that in the comedy industry you will not see him stand out. Okay? There is a, play, a place for everybody. There is a spot for you. Go in there. There is a place for you. Everything he's saying, is it real or fake? Did you enjoy it? The most important thing in your field is that you must add value. He brought value to the table. Take value to the table. That's what matters. That is the cocoa. Happiness is key. Everybody deserves to be happy. Questions? I've seen that man with the brown check, uh, check shirt, that one. That, that man, yeah, that guy first. Yes, that was the first person. Quickly, so that we can go on break. Our break is going to be for 30 minutes. Because our next speaker is ready. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, first and foremost, I must say it's a privilege for me to be here. And I'm highly honored uh, sitting here as a participant for this Go straight program. to the question. Go straight. Uh, my question is more like a challenge to you, sir. Uh, in fact, I really appreciate your section. It has been wonderful. And it has been an eye-opening. And um, I've seen something like this uh, with the likes of you and the likes of Babyface. Uh, you guys have been so inspirational to the youth. Now, I want to put a challenge to you. Uh, with the way you have really come out here to inspire us, and in some sorts, you have added your comedy to 
the kind of inspirational comedy. So I want to challenge you. We really want to see more of this kind of comedy uh, in the likes of entertainment, where you have an expiring comedy, so to say. So that when you, not only that, you are being um, laughing and all Thank that, you. but I'm you are actually I, getting I know point. what you're saying. I am intelligent, cerebral, intellectual in my delivery. Question is, are you following me on Instagram? Answer, no, don't go. Are you following me on Instagram? Have you ever reposted my video? How do you want me to be everywhere? That is the major problem. Your generation does not support what some of us do. You walk over it. So I can't do it alone. I can only try my best. Some of you look at us and say old school. But we inspire you more than the people who you follow. I can say that half of this room is following Brother Shaggy. But half of this room is not following me. I'm not asking you to. But I add more value to your life over time. I look at some of my colleagues when I was coming up that would be like, mm, boy, now they are asking me to train their children. You see the irony of life? They are asking me, ah, can my younger brother come and learn this from you? Can no, 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 no. You are right. But then your generation is wrong. It is not your fault or your generation's fault. It's the Nigerian thing. There is no structure in every sector. So people don't know what value is anymore. A lot of people have asked me to go and do junk on Instagram to gain more followership. To do, I will not debase my value system. I have children that look up to me. Okay? So it's not like I don't want to be everywhere. But the show promoters want a horror. But I can't come and perform. Ah, I saw them. I can't do it. It's not that I can't perform like that, but it is just not me. But your generation wants, you know, swagger, a fizzy weary. And I don't blame them because in my own time too, I did my weary. But I'm older, I'm matured, I'm refined wine, but your generation doesn't like refined wine. They want a... You know what they want now? You know what they want? So I am refined wine, but your generation is still taking, you know, bomba. Uh, you know those things. I can't mention it for, so that somebody doesn't say I'm defaming their product. So that's the thing, my brother. If a lot of you that are this intelli intelligent see the things I'm doing, see the things that you is doing, see the things that some of us are doing, and you share it, and you make it a thing, then others will fall in line. That is how you create a movement and change its place. See, America took over the world. How? Can somebody tell me how? How did America conquer the world? How did the British conquer the world? The British went to war with the world. They took colonies by war. The Americans did not go to war. They went and penetrated us through entertainment. Half of you here speak American English. You have never been to an airport. <laughs> Half of you dress American. You swag. By the things you saw in entertainment. That is how America conquered the world. They rechanged the tongue of the world. Nobody speaks British English. You can never see anybody trying to speak like they... Um, Hi, mate. You're, nobody speaks like that. But street lingo. Boys want to be like, you know, you know, you know, my guy, you know, as they go now. That's our own translation of American swagger. You know, as it be now, it is what it is. Yo, my nigga, Padia Kilonlo. That is a translation of the American, yo, dude, what up, dude, what up, dude, what up, dude, what up? yo, bow. Those are the, they are the same thing. But we picked up that from the American swag. That is how America conquered the world movies, music, entertainment. So, whatever we have, let's use. Our entertainment has been seen somehow. We can change it. That's what I told you earlier. Change it. When you see good stuff, share it. Some of you have power in your hands in WhatsApp. You don't know. Your first contact for business progression is WhatsApp. But you are pursuing total strangers on Instagram. Your first business contact are the people closest to you. They are on your WhatsApp. But you just disregard them because your mom and dad are there. Block them. If you don't want them to see what you're sharing, block them. Let your friends see your status that you are selling something. In fact, your parents will be proud to see your status that you are selling something. 
Not his wristwatch or your mother's shoe. But something, at first they might frown, but gradually when they see that you are taking care of yourself financially, they will be proud of you. WhatsApp groups, create it. And you let me go. Razor blade in the mountain is in. Razor blade. No, you have to think. You have to think. Next question. Good afternoon. My name is Fisha. Um, firstly, I want to differ from what you said the other time about sniper. I know how many people have lost their job in the process of um, banning sniper, which is not nice. And I want to go back to what um, Dr. Moise Banyere said. What is your difference? I don't get it. I want to differ from what you said about banning sniper, and I don't think it's encouraging, because I know how many people have lost their job in the process. It's not, so I, you are not communicating to me. No, you were using it to joke, and I'm trying to let you know that um, some people have actually lost their job. You have lost everybody here. Huh? You, have, you have lost everybody. No, I'm not the type that will wait till later. You, you have said, lost everybody. You said something about committing suicide. And okay. I'm trying to let you know that um, it's not encouraging the way you said it. Because what I know... What are you saying, young man? You don't get what I'm saying. You said something about people going through depression. And um, so many people have committed suicide through it. Through sniper. Okay. So it's like a joke. And I said, um, I don't really think... Um, it's nice like that. Then it means so, you don't have the facts. Sir? Go to the question. Go to okay, the question. Okay, my question is yeah, go to directed the question. to Dr. Moise Banyere, mm -hmm. which he said something that um, the youth are not ready for leadership. I could remember in the last election, one of the legislators, Honorable Tony Uwulu, sponsored a bill of not too young to run. And I know how many people, how many young people, especially from where I come from, who are interested in, in legislative duties or taking up the mantle of leadership. But because of the seal of form from the party we all belong to, I belong to and he belong to, which is the All Progressives Congress, the sale of the form was actually around 45 to 22 million naira. A youth like me who don't have anything doing, or probably, oh, I'm doing, I'm riding keke, for example. Where do you want me to get such money from? How do you want me to get such money? And you want me to take up the, the mantle of leadership. So I don't know how this can actually all go well with some of our okay, youth. Okay, Dr. Banera will answer you, but this is my first solution. Okay, this is my first solution. Every young person, the next election is 2023, right? This is the time for you to start galvanizing little units to voice out towards that. Okay? If your units are not making noise about forms, nominations, and selections against your well-being, then you're going to lose again in the next election. So start making noise about the fees being too much. Okay? Well, thank you very much. It's an important question that you have raised. Let me first clear the first aspect that you said. You see, maybe you didn't get the import of what Kofi said. Is that if you don't have anything to do, every day you try this, you fail. That one you think you fail. That one. In fact, some people don't even start before they fail. Because they will just say, oh, that thing. Uh, 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 some few minutes ago, I just was discussing with Otuba uh, Okela. I said, my son said to me that, look, uh, I want to stay in England so as to be able to do a vacation job. I don't want to come to Nigeria. I said, of course, it's not a pleasant answer for me. And I said, okay, no problem. You want to stay there? I said, what do you want to do? He said, I want to work and make money. I said, no problem. You go and find a job. He has spent one month now. He's in the university. He has not come. He has not found a job. I, I now on my own. Went through my own network and got a job. I now sent a test to him to say, yes, I've got you a job now. You will start next tomorrow. He said, how much are they going to pay me? I said, no, it's not about money. 
I said, my experience, no, I want to work this time around because I want money. And I said, no. Even if you don't get money, you said you want to work. Is either you are ready to work there or you come and work in Nigeria now? You see, the truth of the matter is that most people never start before they even fail. So what then happened in our society today, which the point is making is that people get depressed easily. Because you wake up in the morning, nowhere to go. You see your colleague going out and coming back. You see them progressing. Before you know it, the next thing is that you take to drug addiction. Even if you don't take to drug addiction, you know, you don't need drugs to become depressed. And once you are depressed, the next stage is suicide. And that is why we are having more and more in our hands these days. In fact, if not that one of our resource persons is, on, is challenged with time, Dr. Memina Kadri, she still promised that if she can make Saturday money, she will just come and talk to us about mental amen generally and the youth. These are come of the frustration. The point that is being made is that the frustration is leading to depression and from depression to suicide. And it's becoming rampant. Meaning that you must find a way of engaging yourself. Because if you do not engage yourself, you fall into depression. And the ultimate then is suicide. Just to clarify, you see, the other point you have made, one of the things that uh, Kofi has said is that, look, you have to start now. It even goes beyond that. The default system we have about, today, as of today, 91 political parties. 91. Meaning that you have enough choice to make. That's number one. Number two, I personally do not believe in such fees. In fact, I'm, it's unfortunate that the Secretary of UAC is not here. We are in court on that issue. Since that time, we went to court in UAC to say that you cannot be charging that kind of fees from people because people are entitled to participate and that the money is too much. We are in court on that issue. But again, it all boils down to the issue which I told you earlier. You want to contest in 2023, like you said. I gave an example to you the last time. Maybe you were not here. If you impact enough your community today, I'm telling you, if you impact your, enough today, between now and that time, even if it's your name alone, you are on any platform, you will win the election. Local government might be difficult because that one is not election. That one is just, they just write name and go and announce. Forget that one. But if it's any conducted, which is the legislative one, I can assure you, if you make yourself valuable to your community, any platform you find yourself you will win. In fact, they've demonstrated it lightly in the north through this last election. You see people, some people will vote for president this election. The next election, they went for governor. Some, they will give some. See what happened in Ibadan. It's a clear demonstration of what has happened. So you need not get stuck to any political party at all. As far as I'm concerned, it's your pedigree, your competence, and your personality that must be the reference through which you sell yourself as a product. The example I gave you, I may repeat again. I said, okay, if you go to your community now, I know I even have an example here. SK is there, SK below. You remember, is there? Yes, but I can't remember the year that you were you contested. It must be almost 30 years or so now. As at the time he was there, we are all from the same constituency. The person that challenged him was a more or less then. The people you, that are qualified today to be called a billionaire. One chief, or a king, a The man had a lot of money. But the youth in our area decided, where is rapidity? I think I saw rapidity. Around some, <laughs> yeah. He coordinated all of us. All of us. He called everybody together and said, look, enough of all these old men that we need to put one of us down as a candidate for the council. And he started calling everybody. Some of them were you see, undergraduates. Some had no job self. And we started gathering at his place every evening. Eventually, everybody resolved to back him. And sure that the victory was not only, it must be moon slide at the end of the day. Because we took our destiny to our house. We were all networking with all the youth in our area one by one. And even with all the money, they would take the money, they took the money of the man. 
but still voted for him. And that is the kind of thing, that is the kind of change we want to see. In fact, that is part of the lesson I expect to see. That the youth must be able to network with themselves. Like you said, this your WhatsApp and all these things, social media that you are. You are, not, you are even much, much, you are luckier than all of our own generation. Our own, we have to go house by house to talk to people. This one, you don't need to. To a large extent, your social media power is there for you. You people are experts in it. You can use it to mobilize effectively. Imagine, let me say, for example, the place you want to contest now. You have underneath about 120 streets in your area. The, what you first need, for example, forget about platform, the party. All those ones are the same thing. If you are able to start with, say, on this street, I want to have one youth there that will represent my interest. One. Start with one one. So, before you know, you have how many? 120 youths already with you. You convince them because you are going to dedicate yourself. Nothing uh, like uh, my friend reminded me. Power is never serve a la carte. They don't bring it home for anybody. You struggle for power. And if you want to struggle for it, you have to sacrifice. You have to go and convince each one of them why you feel that you can represent their interests better and why all of them must buy into your agenda. If all of them, those 120 in the first system, buys into your agenda, the next stage is to tell them, okay, on your own street, try and get four more people and be five five on your own street and start doing your own meeting. Five five people. Imagine just five oh, on your street. Just talk that, look, we must change things in the area. We must change things in the area. That agitation alone that we must change it. Before you know, you are many. Maybe you have, let, let me say, the problem with electricity. All of you, you came together and said, no, enough is along with the way these people are, are dealing with us. You champion the cause. Tomorrow there is no water in the area. You let them to the council. Next tomorrow they have this challenge. You galvanize anybody. When election comes, who do they vote for? Even if they bring the whole money from Abuja, <laughs> they will still get committed to you. So at that level, you don't even need the party. It's the party that needs to come and beg you to contest on their platform. They will even pay the money. In uh, APC, I tell you without fear of contradiction, if Barad, for example, not contested under APC, APC will not have made any difference in the election. They were afraid. That's the truth. It's a personality-driven party. By 2023, uh, 23, you will see the nakedness of APC when the man is not contesting. You will not see the nakedness. So... The message I'm telling you is that it's you, you, your personality and your pedigree that will drive that process for you. So, the issue of fees, I agree with you, is not encouraging, but even as youth, you do not need them. They need you. So, you go out there, you do your own, show that you are truly a genuine leader. When people perceive you and they believe in you as a genuine leader, they will naturally follow you. They will even contribute. People contributed. HK Belo is there. People who are contributing, the youth themselves were contributing money. So say, let's go. This is the person we want. And that will happen. So that was my response to your inquiry. Uh, thank you. Whilst um, we were speaking earlier, some of our facilitators for the day came in. Uh, we have um, Mr. Ade Atobatele here with us. Please your hands together for him. You're welcome, sir. He'll be speaking with us in the second half. And of course, um, the mogul himself, our Egbon, um, he's uh, part of um, the president's media team. And of course, there's a campaign for him to be. Let me keep quiet on that. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Nia, can you please your hands together for him? He'll be speaking with us in the second half. Okay, uh, we're about to take a break um, for just 30 minutes. In between, uh, I'll suggest you drop your numbers so that it can be added to a group for you people. Um, henceforth, okay, going by that man's uh, challenge, not too young to run will not work because money is needed to invest in politics. So sometimes you think uh, if we vote for him, so this is what we should do. Start hashtags that can save the future. We need power. We need light. No to generator. If there is constant electricity, a lot of you will create jobs amongst yourself. Those are the hashtags that you should start from now. 
let that register in so that government can know that if they can give you steady power, you will take care of yourselves. Then when you create your units, you can vote amongst yourselves. Like he said, you don't need them. Time for break. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. 30 minutes, we'll be back. I will be back by 12.50. 12.50 will be back. Hurry, 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 hurry. Now girls move, sing a 